Hi, so you are looking to find out how many types of verbals actually exist, okay? And like any other video, this video will actually show you the real types of verbals that actually exist. I did a little research online before doing this video and I find out like a three or four or five different videos talking about four different types of verbals. I don't know, I have no idea where the people find out those <laughs> type of verbals because it's like... Uh, that's not like that, okay? Uh, they are talking about terrier type of verbal, they are talking about the bulldog type of, of verbal, no. Uh, let me tell you one thing, that's just a way between you and me, let's, I will give you a little secret, that's just a way to camouflage faults on those dogs, okay? There is no terrier type, there is no bulldog type, there are only two types of verbals, Okay, they are the speed type, uh, the speed type of verbals, uh, and the power type verbals. And it's not, it's not just me uh, saying that. If you don't believe me, not a problem. I have here, I done my research. Okay, um, you can find this information on this book that I highly recommend for those uh, who are uh, passionate about verbals. The, bo the book is called Verbal Breeding and was written by Lucas van Vuren from Spitzwur Kennel, okay? Uh, this book is very, very, very good and he, ta he, he actually talk about this. There are two types of verbals. The speed type, usually a more uh, a more tall verbal, um, a more tall verbal, bigger dog, uh, with uh, uh, a little bit narrow, more narrow head, and of course with less volume than the power dog. The power type verbal is a more stocky dog, shorter dog, bigger head. Uh, so uh, these are the two types of verbals that exist actually in the past okay nowadays it makes no sense talking about a specific type of verbal there is only one type of verbal it's the correct one and actually there is another type which is the incorrect one okay uh, there are only two types the good and the bad okay we have hundreds and hundreds of generations nowadays so if we find out uh, and this is very common nowadays, we can find out a lot of uh, borbles nowadays, short borbles, very stocky with uh, huge heads, with uh, too many wrinkles, they probably run for about two minutes and they, they faint. Hey, the pig's acting kind of funny. He and Mr. Simpson split a case of malt liquor. Guys, he's really sick. Hello, that sounds like a pig fainting. So th that's not a power verbal. That's just a dog with fault. Okay, I look at those dogs and I don't see. I don't even see the breed. Okay, the the verbal is the perfect blend between the power dog and the speed dog. That's a verbal. A verbal should be a tall dog, a strong dog, athletic. They they can be able to move and run for several 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 minutes. Okay, uh, I, I I told this in many many of my videos. Okay. Uh, people need to stop breeding small stocky dogs uh, just to uh, just to accommodate the market demand okay that will ruin the breed if you want to know what a real burble is a burble is the perfect blend between a power dog and a speed type dog okay so uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, don't close this video yet. Uh, I believe you will find here one or two videos that I believe will be very interesting for you to see if you are really passionate about the burble. So, if you don't agree with me, just comment below. If you agree with me, comment below, okay? And make sure to subscribe if you like this video and this, if this video was valuable to you and you want to learn more about this verbal breed, about dog breeding and dog training in general, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Stay tuned for what next video.